holiday blend tea with two mincemeat cookies. You only managed to get six of them made and well I think there are two left after this. Maybe. I have more to make in the fridge, but I have not yet. It's actually coming up a little lighter on camera. It's very, very deep navy. And this is called Gingerbread Man. And it's black tea with cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, and apple. That sounds really good. Just when I thought I was going to be good at opening these packages. Ooh, that's very bright. It is deeper than it seems on the screen. probably look terrible. I was just finishing a book and it was sad. It turned out all right, but anything set at the Battle of Culloden is sad. <laughs> Such an incredible waste. Um, so I got a lot of stuff done today and I'm exhausted. <laughs> More cookies occurred. The paperweight bloomed another entire spread of blossoms. Things were done. Things were accomplished. I should stop taking the video in the middle of the night. It makes me less likely to uh, have something that I've thought about to say. But everything's moving along. Christmas is occurring. I made good progress on the sweater today. Not quite as much as I would have hoped. But... I still feel like it's not a totally unrealistic goal to think that I could have it done this week. But I gotta push. I'm really gotta push, but that's okay. Um, sleeve one is below the elbow. Sleeve two doesn't exist yet. Beyond that, I just have the collar. And I may put off actually tucking the tails until after I give it to her, just because that's like another hour that I could use to sew, well, to start her sisters. Not that I'm going to get her sisters done, but, you know, I'll probably just tuck everything and have it finished. But that's kind of where I'm thinking right now. Get it as close to done as I can and then stop and move on to the next thing. Or maybe not. Who knows? All right. I'm exhausted, like I said, so I'm going to let you go, and I will chat with you again in the morning. All right, before I actually turn in, I wanted to show you all of the decorated cookies that the girls did. While I was baking, they were decorating. This was done largely completely unsupervised. And I think they really did a good job. We have checked most of these candies are not um, teeth breaking kind. I was gonna point out the double decker, but I think they already ate it. <laughs> All right, this is my messy table. We've got the tin with the rest of the... She edits the picture. The tin with the rest of the unfrosted sugar cookies. These two tins contain apple-filled cookies that I tried doing in a muffin tin. This is the first year for that. Um, we'll see. This is how we normally bake them. This is how we normally bake them. It's kind of a big cookie just to give you an idea of scale. There is the second blossom on the paper white. 
and that tin over there contains mincemeat, but I didn't actually get very many of those done, and um, my son and I have mostly finished them already.